Assalamu alaikum everyone it is subscriber week and today's topic that i'm going to be teaching are the lower limb muscles because i've got a lot of requests on this topic and i hope you can shift your focus to the board right here we are going to uh, basically have this mnemonic for all of you that mnemonic no, i have this shortcut for you basically uh, that allows you to understand these muscles in a summarized form so i'd like to reveal that today basically i want you to divide your lower limb into a thigh which is the upper part of the lower limb and into a leg all right and then the foot today i'll only be focusing on the thigh and the leg because i know the muscles there are more confusing so let's go ahead and talk about the thigh muscles first now i want you to divide the thigh into three compartments all right let's talk about the thigh first the thigh will be divided into an anterior compartment a medial compartment and a lateral compartment now what i want you guys to do is by default write down these clincher words or these uh, you know malignant words that are going to lead you to answer multiple things which is the origin insertion action nerve supply and that is the issue that you guys have right so we're going to go ahead and somehow look at these uh, keywords that will help us with the entire thigh muscles all right uh, so in the anterior compartment of the thigh i want you to remember is the quadriceps muscles the quadriceps muscles are all coming from the ilium part of the hip bone I want you to remember this by default. Medial compartment muscles are all coming from the pubis part of the hip bone. So you can see the pubis is divided into three compartments, or these muscles are divided into three compartments by these three parts of the hip bone. Sorry, I mean posterior, and the posterior compartment is coming from ischium part of the hip bone. Now, if you notice that the hip bone is basically composed of the upper ilium, the superior part for the anterior compartment origin, then a medial part which is for the medial compartment origin, and posterior part which is the ischium for the posterior part uh, origins. So that's by default you can learn the origin of all of the thigh compartment muscles. Uh, the next thing I want you to focus on is anterior compartment of the lower limb is always going to be an extensor compartment, whereas the posterior compartment will always be the flexor compartment because you are going to it's basically in contrast to the upper limb. All right, so. this is completely opposite uh, as compared to upper limb and finally the medial compartment is going to be composed of the ad adductors all right now uh, next thing i want you to remember for these keywords is that the anterior compartment has the femoral nerve as its uh, nerve supply medial compartment will have the nerve supply of the nerve to pubis known as obturator nerve and posterior compartment will have the nerve supply of sciatic nerve so overall you can see that about now we have revised or in like no time the origins and the actions and the nerve supply of all of the thigh muscles and this is literally uh 70% of what you need to know in these thigh muscles all right and i want you to remember the anterior compartment has a uh, there is just few exceptions that i want to talk about sartorius is the only uh, exception that is not going to be doing extension rather it will be doing the taylor's uh, muscle position which is the uh, abduction lateral rotation and uh, flexion of the knee if you can remember that exception totally good and one more two more exceptions they're not exceptions actually and two hybrids exist in this thigh these two hybrids are known as the adductor magnus if you can remember that that'd be great and the pectineus all i want you to remember hybrid means two nerve supplies two nerve supply meaning the adductor magnus is going to be supplied by the medial compartment nerve obviously because it's the adductor compartment therefore obturator nerve it will originate from pubis but since the adductor magnus is also going to be sharing the posterior compartment therefore it will always be also be supplied by the uh, sciatic nerve and it will also have a function of the flexor uh, flexing the knee and it will also have a origin from the posterior compartments ischium so you see the hybrid changes the dynamic the hybrid means that it has two compartments that it's not loyal to one compartment it is basically cheating on one compartment if you get what i'm saying and pectineus for the pectineus uh, i want you to remember that anterior and medial compartment going to have the uh, basically it's going to be in these two compartments therefore its nerve supply will be from these two femoral and obturator that makes complete sense and apart from this i want you to remember one more thing the extension and the flexion that i talk about is actually taking place at the knee not at the hip all i want you to do reverse the motion and that is what is going to be taking place at the hip so for instance there is a muscle that is of extensor compartment uh, reverse it Uh, for instance rectus femoris is going to be extending the knee but then flexing the hip similarly flexor compartment biceps will be flexing the knee but extending the hip so this is what you need to remember there's a gist of all the thigh muscles really hope i made it easy for you in the next video i'm going to talk about the leg muscles so stay tuned and happy subscriber week to you